Hey guys, welcome to Art Mentality. This is Jimmy Curtis the fourth. Um, so today I just want us to discuss about how to overcome a creative block. If you're an artist, I'm sure you're familiar with this. Probably even if you're a writer, a dancer, a painter, a musician, whatever. A creative block is basically when you come to that place where you really want to create, you really want to do something, but there's no inspiration to do it. You're just like, you try to get things done, but there's, it's like there's something blocking you. And what I figure about this is, life is about patterns. And underneath every pattern, there's an underlying principle. Let me elaborate. Anytime you have a creative block, do an introspection of, 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 of yourself. That period of time when you had a creative block, what was the pattern? What was the culture? What was the lifestyle that was surrounding you at that time? In other words, what sort of people were you hanging out with? What places were you hanging out with? What area were you staying? Understand? What, what, what movies were you watching? Because even movies, there are certain movies that sort of inhibit your creativity. And it depends from one artist to another. The artists who really do well with this kind of movie, others don't. And any time where you didn't have the creative block, also do an introspection. What was that? What, what was the culture? What was the lifestyle surrounding you at that time that was making you really productive? And once you figure that out, you will see the underlying principle. Because artists are different, yeah? Some artists, they work better in certain environments. Other artists don't. So as an artist, you have to figure out your life really well. What sort of foods do you eat? Because by the way, they did a scientific study and they discovered that there are certain foods that inhibit creativity. They mentioned junk food and a lot of that. There are certain foods that make you more creative than other foods do. There are certain movies that when you watch, it sort of just dulls you up. So basically, figure out what are the culture, what are the systems, what are the structures that you've set around you that either make you creative or not creative. So anytime you're having a creative block, check what is it that you've surrounded yourself with? What is the emotional state that you are at that time? Are you depressed? Are you anxious? Are you happy? You know, check all those things. And once you figure that out, you see the underlying principle. By underlying principle, I basically mean you see the the nature of what makes you tick and what makes you not tick. It's not really a complex thing to fix. Just look at your life, figure out what's around you at that particular moment and does it need to change? Yeah. So the painting behind me is by one of my students. He's called Elvin. Uh, really good job. It's an abstract piece of a, a cut. And I like, I like how colorful it is. I, I like how it screams for attention. It's like, hey guys, I'm here, look at me, you know. Yeah, good job, Elvin, good job. Um, yeah, to see more of my students' job as well as my paintings, uh, just see at the social media handles that will come at the end of the video. And uh, you know how we do, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think on this creative block thing. And uh, yeah, let's help each other out. So. Till next time, cheers guys, bye.